Like usual, nothing boring going on in the tech world. This week, some interesting stuff has been panning out. Intel, who was once talking some major stuff about uh, some other silicon, has reversed tactics and done some weird stuff. NVIDIA has something new that's coming out. And you can actually find a video card. It just might not be at the price you want. So let's talk tech. Did you just build yourself a brand new PC? Or did you just upgrade your old PC, but find you're in need of a Windows 10 key? If that's the case, your CD key has you covered. And buying, it's never been easier. All you do is go to the Your CD Key website, find the Windows software that you want to buy, put it into your cart, enter the code TOT20, apply the code, save yourself some extra money, and as soon as you complete your purchase, the Windows 10 key will be in your inbox. There's no problems, it's really easy, and all keys are guaranteed to work, so you don't have to worry about losing your money, and you'll have a valid Windows 10 key to get your unit up and running. So first up, Intel, when Apple first announced their M1 Silicon, they had all kinds of commercials that were going on that were basically saying, oh, you know, that processor sucks. Use ours. Like, hey, those guys, you know, you know, they were kind of really dissing on it, which is just, you know, kind of funny. But now, in a strange turn of events, um, you guys may have seen the Justin Wong commercials, you know, where one guy's a PC, one guy's a Mac. You, know, you guys have probably seen that before. Well, you know, they use that kind of tactic to, you know, obviously say they're better than other people. But what's really weird is that now they're asking the people at Apple if they can make their silicon, which means they want to use their fabs to make their M1 processors. Now, that's just that kind of spells some serious shite, right? I mean, think about it. Intel's fabs so open that they don't even need to make their own damn CPUs. Those aren't selling anyway. So let's make let's make Apple CPUs because those are selling. I mean, it's really kind of really funny because. You know, Apple in the past has used Intel CPUs, they've used Intel graphics, they've used AMD graphics, and they've used NVIDIA graphics. I mean, pretty much, Apple has slept with whoever there is to sleep with in that industry. If you're a giant who makes these things, Apple has probably slept with one of those companies and made a deal with them. But what's really funny is that now Intel actually wants to make the Apple Silicon, which is just funny. Now, the original M1 chip, if you guys haven't checked it out, you should definitely go check out reviews from people that have been you know, talking about it because even their entry level model actually edits video really well in Final Cut, really well. I'm saying it's a, it's a really nice machine for doing stuff on an entry level that people can afford because something under $700 isn't very expensive, especially if you're using it to make money. So Intel, they ain't selling any CPUs, obviously, because, well, guess what? They've got room in their fab to make Apple's M1. <laughs> Funny stuff, right? Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel like I got a frog in my throat. And by the way, guys, yes, I know the audio is still a little bit echoey. I did get a Rode Pro mic and stuck it on the, stuck it on the camera. I'm still waiting for my new mix pre to show up. Um, editors, people in LA um, who are watching this video, please feel sorry for this poor bastard and send my new mix pre. Thank you, please. All right. Now, next story. Nvidia has a new driver that's just come out, and it will actually reduce latency by 30% in Rainbow Six Siege. And there's other games that are going to be coming out that will actually have the same thing. But for right now, if you're a person out there and you play Rainbow Six Siege, especially if you're somebody out there who's a competitive player, well, then this is probably something that's going to interest you. 30% less latency means that, you know, your game's going to be playing a lot better, taking a lot less resources from your system. And for most of the guys I know who play professional stuff, they're not really all that into looking at the pretty graphics. I mean, let's just face it, they're not there as f***ing tourists to look at stuff. They're there to kill you, right? They're on a mission. 
and are on a mission to kill some motherfucking people. That's what they're doing. Other people, me included sometimes, I will admit it, I'm a tourist in there. I'm looking around going, oh wow, these graphics are awesome, check that out. Not that that game has the most outstanding graphics, I'm just saying, but for me in some games, when I first go in and play them, I'm like, whoa, the graphics, oh, these are cool. Like, you know, I'm totally into the graphics aspect of the game and what it looks like. But for the professional guys, they've got the graphics all cut down, they've got low resolutions, and they're flying through the game, you know, at like 16 billion frames per second so that they can headshot and kill their enemy. And with this new 30% less latency, that'll actually allow for better headshots, better accuracy. So all in all, the game should play a lot better. Now, I know that a lot of people say, oh, there's no video cards available. Well, okay, I'm gonna debunk that. That's not true. There are video cards available. I've looked around. There's actually quite a few video cards available. The thing is, is who the f wants to pay the prices for them? I mean, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, when you're seeing, you know, last year's cards selling for eight hundred and a thousand dollars, even for like an RTX 2060 online, like, you know what I'm saying? Like these cards are selling for a lot of money. There are cards. They're just not at the MSRP. If you're willing to dish out the money and pay for the cards, there are actually plenty of cards out there to be had. I've looked around. They're out there. There are cards. They're just being overpriced, overtaxed, gouging. That's really what it equates to. I think it's just gouging all the way around. It's happening. People are accepting it. And I mean, it's not only, I'm gonna tell you this right now, it's not only in the PC industry, okay? The other day I went to go buy some guitar strings. I use Elixir 1052 strings. These are coded strings. I like them because they last a long time. You can play the shite out of them and they still sound good. Now, these were usually $9.97 before the pandemic if you buy a single pack and if you bought like a three pack sometimes you might get lucky and even get it for you know i don't know shoot let's say like 28 bucks well guess what now one pair of those strings is like 28 dollars on amazon ebay and that's even if you can find them in stock which is just ridiculous honestly I am not paying anybody $28 for a set of strings. I will stop playing guitar and play your guitar and be totally happy. I'm not paying anybody $30 for a set of strings. I'm sorry. You know, for somebody out there who obviously, you know, uh, plays guitar and they make money off playing guitar, I don't. I'm usually the singer in the band. I present my ideas in guitar, but usually the guitar playing is done by Jesse Hunter, Jonathan, or, you know, by Josh Kenson. Those guys do all that type of stuff. So. But that's today's video. It's not a super duper long video, short and sweet. But there you have it. Intel, once a company that dominated the industry has now fallen to the lows where they don't even have enough, I don't know, enough sales to even sell their own damn CPUs, right? So they've got plenty of room in their fab to make the Apple CPUs. Even though they said, oh, you know, these M1s, they suck, they suck. Well, they suck so bad that Intel wants to make them. <laughs> Let's just go from there, shall we? And NVIDIA, latest driver. You'll be able to play Rainbow Six Siege, 30% less latency, make sure you got an RTX card. That is gonna be totally cool for people out there who are competitive, like I said a minute ago. And last but not least, yes, there are video cards. There's just not any video cards at a decent MSRP. If you do find one at an MSRP and you get lucky to buy it, consider yourself lucky because Amazon, eBay, any of these other online stores and stuff, people are gouging the crap out of not only that stuff, it's in every market, it seems like, even my beloved guitar industry. So like usual, I will have links down below. Um, by the way, a lot of people always ask this, are those codes in the beginning authentic? Yes, they are, they're OEM codes, they always work. I've never had anybody complain. Make sure you use the code TT20 and save yourself 25% until April 1st. Also, if you wanna support the channel, you don't have any money, I have a link down below to Amazon Prime. Make sure you use my link and try it out. It gives me some money, keeps the channel around, you get to enjoy Amazon Prime. And for a single lousy dollar, you can support me on Patreon. So peace out, we'll see you guys back here for more tech videos. And yes, soon hopefully I'll have a new audio solution. So echo, 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 